God sent His Son. The Bible John 10.30 at their recorded this sentence, the part and I are one. Hello, my friend. I am glad to meet you today. Thank you for your coming. I am Korean. Korea is a very beautiful country like this. Our country has four seasons. So they are very dynamic and beautiful in Korea. There are many churches and many people. Sisters and brothers, have you ever heard about God? Have you ever heard about what God said? I am going to talk to you about God. The Bible is God's word. God talked to us through the Bible. The Bible is a wonderful book. In the Bible, Genesis 1-1, at there recorded this sentence. In the beginning, there was nothing at all. Only God was there. God created the heaven and the earth. At first, the earth was formless and empty and chaos. But God's spirit carved of the earth's face. Yes, God made all things. God made animals and mankind. God had a good plan for the man and the woman. God named the man Adam and the woman Eve. All was beautiful and so good. The great God was happy. It, especially, mankind was made by God's image. In the man, there are God's image and God's character. Mankind was made by God's workmanship. God was very happy for the man and woman. Adam and Eve also were living spirit. Yes, all mankind have a spirit and a body. The spirit is forever, not die. All of the world must obey God. We must believe that God is a maker and great. Also, we must know that we should obey God. God wants to know that the Heavenly Father is the one who loves us. God loves us. How did God love us? Why did God love us? Why should we respond to God's word? Somebody could ask like this. What the matter to us? Yes, we have the problem. All people have a big problem. If you don't know God's love, really, if you don't know God's love, you should have a serious problem in your life. I'm sorry, but it's real. If you don't know God, if you don't know God's word, if you don't know about God's love until now, you ought to know God this moment. Because without God, without God's word, 
without God's love, we cannot go to the heaven. The sins, troubles, and pains will follow us if we cannot know God. The fail and the darkness also follow all our life if we don't know God. It's really all serious life will continue to us. Our next generation also. Everybody should accept the God's gift. Everybody ought to accept God's gift, the Son of God. Because all the people departed from God, all the people were slaved to the evil, the Satan. People became the slave of sin, the slave of Satan, the layer. So, all the people were deceived by the Satan. All the people were deceived by the Satan. The Satan made mankind to be sinner. You know. And for the mankind was separated from grace, God's peace, God's word. All people were deceived by the Satan's word. Romans 3, 10 to 20, at their recorded, as it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, no one who seeks God. All have turned away, they all have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. But, my friend, don't worry, don't worry. God will give you best gift, which is manifested in us, revealed in us. God sent Jesus, Jesus is his only son, in this distress of people, God sent his son, Jesus. But God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have an eternal life. John 3, 16, the Bible word. God's son came down in this dark and painful us. God sent his son to solve the problems. God sent his son to destroy the work of evil, the Satan. God sent his son, Jesus, for making perfect the God's will. God sent his son to this world for giving the eternal life to the sinners. God gave his son Jesus to save the disobedient. When Jesus came to the earth, the angel in heaven sang a song for joy. 
Some of them came down to the earth to tell the good news. Some shepherds could found the Jesus. God's son was in the stable. How wonderful it was. Jesus was grown up. Jesus walked all through the country. Jesus told the people about God and God's kingdom. Jesus told them that God loves us. Wherever he went, he did good. Jesus healed the sick. Jesus made the blind see. Jesus gave food to the hungry. Jesus was the friend to those who were sorry for their sins. One day, Jesus was talking to his disciples about his father in heaven. Philip said to him, Lord, show me the path. Show us the path. Jesus said, I have been with you a long time. Well, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. People of God, what did Jesus mean? It means that God is just like God. It means that God is just like Jesus himself. God sent his son Jesus to this land to solve the serious problems. God is calling us. We should respond to his calling with a pleasure. Only we accept God's gift, God's Son, God will give us salvation, and we will be God's children. How wonderful this is! Now shall we pray to God? God, my Father, thank you for your love and gift. I believe that Jesus redeemed me from all my sins on the cross. I believe that Jesus ended all the curses that have come upon me. Jesus bound the forces of Satan that afflict me. I believe that Jesus has already taken care of all my problems that I am facing right now. At this moment, I confess that I am a sinner. I accept Jesus as my Savior. I open the door of my mind. Please forgive me from all my sins. Make me clean. Only God is my Father. Jesus is my Savior. May Jesus come to the center of my mind. God is my eternal best. I believe that Jesus is the Christ who died for me on the cross. I believe Jesus arose from the dead. Lord, thank you for sending us Jesus and showed us the heaven. We praise our living Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Amen.